Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial by us, Tokai. In this tutorial, we're gonna dive into Unreal Engine, we're gonna get the third person character mesh with all the bones, we're gonna drive that back into Houdini, there we're gonna make a short waving animation. Then we'll replace that idle animation in Unreal Engine by our waving animation so we can actually see what we're doing. So right off the bat, let's dive into Unreal. I just created a third person um, map and all the content that you see here is what gets generated. So I'm gonna dive into the mannequin, into the character, and then in the mesh. And in this mesh, I'm going to get my skeletal mesh. And then asset actions, I'm gonna say export. And this gives me the possibility to export all the stuff that I'm doing. I'm just gonna place this in my downloads folder, which I have right here. I'm going to SK mannequin. Just for reference, I'm going to type in here from Unreal. I'll hit save. Another screen pops up. And we can select what type of FBX we want and what kind of stuff we want there. Uh, I'm going to say export. It's going to be generated. And then let's see our file. So we see here from Unreal, we have our initial file. Let's open up Houdini and let's drag in our character. So right off the bat, when it drops it in, obviously because of the size difference in scale uh, between Unreal and Houdini, I'm going to set this to 0 0.01, which gives our character its initial scale. All right. So I'm going to dive in and this gives you a very long note where, network with our null here. Our materials here this is our mesh so you can see all the bones and then from here we have our pelvis bone all the way to spine bones and then from there on if I follow this line all the spine bones clavicle on the right side upper arm right side, lower arm right side, and the hand. So these four controllers, I'm quickly gonna color them red. So select this color. Uh, so I know which bones I actually wanna animate later on. Select them. And I'm gonna delete all the channels for the rotations, the translations, the scaling, because I don't need that. And then from there on, I can actually control all the individual parts. So if I go to my right hand, zoom in a little bit, and if I rotate this, you can see that the hand rotates as well. So it goes for this rotation along the wrist, and this rotation along the wrist. Now, to make sure that I know what I'm doing for all of these four, I'm just quickly gonna set all of these and I'm gonna say clear my transforms. This will keep all the stuff in there, uh, but at least now I know I can work from zero. So in our front animation or in our front of our, our view, what I wanna do is I wanna rotate this arm upwards. So it makes a bend at the shoulder, like here, and then another bend at the elbow here, and then with the hand. First thing I need to do is I need to change the amount of frames, right? So in here, I have my frame set for starting one, ending at two, but I want a little bit more to work with. And I also want to have a real-time playback. I want to see about what the speed is going, and then showing how it goes. All right. So that gives us our 240 frames or our 10 seconds of film. Then in here, the clavicle is the joint that connects the spine basically to the shoulder. And then from there on, I want to animate. So if I take my right arm, and I rotate it, all the other bones should follow. So I can actually rotate this. in a slightly backwards rotation 
you know, from there, if we move up, we can move another one. So from the right arm, we go to the lower arm. Just quickly gonna move these all slightly closer together. Easily switch between them because these are for now the only four that I need. So if you hold A and drag down on the selected nodes, they'll all space them out evenly. Right, so here it goes. So I have the clavicle, upper arm, lower arm. I'm gonna do the same thing, gonna rotate it in a certain direction. Always have to check which one. Obviously, I'm always making a mistake with that one. That doesn't look healthy. And then from here, the hand, I also want to rotate slightly. And then maybe a clavicle and the arm a little bit. Maybe just the clavicle a little bit. So we get an idea of what, how our arm is waving. All right, so for all of these four, I can now set a key in their rotations. So if you go to your keyframe, set keyframe, hold left mouse button can also work. So I go here, hold left mouse button. That creates a single frame here. And then in here, I can hold shift or I can just uh, click. And I can actually Control C, and then when I move to my last frame, which is 240, and I hit Control V, we have our beginning and ending frame. Right? However, that's not what we want. Set all of these back to zero, and then hold left mouse button. Or, uh, yeah, on our last frame, on our first frame, and then from there, Quickly redo the animation. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you guys don't have to watch what I'm doing the whole time. But basically, what I'm doing is I'm changing the uh, clavicle, the upper arm, the right arm, and the uh, right hand. And then later on, I'll slightly move the translates in the spine as well. Um, so we get a little bit of a more balanced wave going on. And I'm going to try to fit that all between 200 frame, uh, 240 frames. Okay, so as you can see, we have um, a short waving animation for about 90 frames right now. That's just the right arm. Add a little bit more of motion in there so it looks a little bit better. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the controls for the right, uh, left upper arm, the left lower arm, and the left hand. And I'm going to align them again, and I'm going to color them. And then what I'm going to do is from the left shoulder to the left elbow to the left wrist, I'm going to make the arm hang down the side of the body. Because right now the, the basic model that we got from Unreal is uh, standing in a T pose. And it doesn't really look natural. So we want to change that to just the arms hanging on the side of the body. And then I'm going to look at the animation. So I'm going to start playing. And probably what's going to happen is that around here, it's going to be a frame. Around here. Somewhere around here. And somewhere around there. All right, so now I have these frames and I can just jiggle it a little bit. So now I feel that there's a little bit more movement going on. And I'll probably move this one here a little bit as well. All right, so we got that one going on. Then finally, I'm also going to do a little bit in the spine. A, get them all together. Get the color again so I know which notes I'm working on. Select all of them. 
delete all the channels, clean all the transforms, and set a key again. Here, and it goes up all the way somewhere here. Oh, it should be slightly rotated. Okay, let's set a key again for these. Let's keep playing. Stretch the turn. I'm going to put a key. Keep playing. That's where I'm going to put a key. Stretch. That's where I'm going to put a key. And then the arm comes down. This my last key. Revert these ones to their defaults on the last frame. So you see we are standing straight and going up. Probably in this frame we'll move out slightly as well. And now we have an animation that looks like this. Okay, I'm a little bit annoyed by the fact that in our first and our last frame the left arm is correct but the right one isn't. So my right arm here for our very first frame. I'm just quickly gonna go over these as well and rotate them in such a way that they look a little bit more As you can see, they don't have to be completely perfect aligned. All right, and then in our last frame, we have to do the same. We actually want this to be looping. Now we know that at least for our first and last frame, we have the same. And there we go. And there's our character waving. Well, for me, this looks like a good animation. 90 frames, it's not too long. It shows us what we can do. I'll stop this animation right now. Hit escape. Make sure all my stuff is okay. All right, so from here, I'm gonna export as a film box FBX, because I want that one. Then my frame range is 1 until 90. I'm going to export this. Or this is the one that I'm exporting. I still have to set my location. And I'm just going to put that here. But instead of from Unreal, I'm going to call it from Houdini. Yeah, accept export and as you can see we now have our second one generated here I dive back into unreal and I'm just gonna track the file in there make sure that all the settings are correct get everything that I need import all so say yes to all all right So we have our animation sequence here. If I open that one up, this is what we get. So we have our character. Currently it's set to 240 frames. And I don't want that. Or maybe I do. For now, let's let's just keep with stick with the 240 frames. The waving animation at least looks okay. Right? So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna rename this specific uh, animation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the original mannequin in the animations and the one that I want to change is the idle one so I'm going to grab this one copy its name and then back to the character in the mesh where we just generated all our stuff I'm going to rename this one and I'm going to rename it exactly as we had before. So our from Houdini model and our Unreal stuff, I'm just gonna delete, force delete. If 
from there go into my folder going to show in Explorer that opens my third person idle e asset then I'm gonna copy this one or at least I'm gonna uh, cut it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close down Unreal I'll just save it for now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this specific animation and then when go when I go to the animation folder that I created in the first one that's where we copied our stuff and in the second one that's where I'm gonna go into the content into the mannequin into the animations and I'm gonna paste this animation and I'm gonna replace the file in the destination so I already had that scene open for you guys so I'm quickly gonna close it okay after copying now if I go to my animation and I open up this specific project and then if I go into my content and I go into the mannequin there's my third person idol just quickly gonna open my toolbar and now when I hit play you can see we have our waving animation running through all the 240 frames and there we go it's as easy as that so now I can run around with my character and then the moment I stop it's gonna do the 240 frames and then somewhere in there is the waving animation so there's a lot of different ways how you can interact with Unreal or how you can um, create stuff in Houdini but this is just a fun way how I found that it's easy to work with and it's uh, it's fairly straightforward. You'll be able to create your own animations without having to go into rigging. You don't have to create all the, the handles and you can just quickly export the animation and get an animation like this from any character that you get with Bones uh, into Unreal. So for now, this was Dokai. Bye bye.